Hi everyone, 
How are you? Welcome to Shalom Gardens. We thank God for safe journey. And uh, we want to start our program with prayer. So if I ask you to stand up, I think it's not too. Okay, let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you this morning for your faithfulness, our Lord and our God. We thank you for your mercies. The Bible tells us the mercies of God are new every morning. And this day we thank you because we woke up under your mercies, O oh God. We thank you, Jehovah God, for gift of life. We thank you for good health that you have given unto us. We bless you because you are a faithful God. We have waited for this day, and God, you have brought it to us. We give you praise and glory, O oh dear Heavenly God. We thank you for safe journey to this place, our Heavenly God. And now, in the name of Jesus, we want to commit every plan that we have for this day into your hands. We pray in the name of Jesus that you may guide us, that you may lead us, that you may direct us for the glory and praise of your name. We pray that in everything that we are going to do, your name shall be glorified at the end of the day. We worship you and we honor you because you are great and awesome God. We thank you and we praise you. And this we pray believing and trusting in Jesus' holy name. Amen. You have come to take possession of Shalom Gardens, phase two. Hallelujah. And Shalom meaning peace. And indeed, as I speak and even as we want to welcome our CEO and our host, our guest of honor, Ladies and gentlemen, in honor of this great man, would you mind standing up so that we can invite a man who to me is a mentor, a man to me who has indeed revolutionized and changed the lives of so many who may not be here or may not have a voice to come and say thank you. But on their behalf, can we just at the count of three say, thank you, Mr. Washihuri. One, two, three. Thank you, Mr. Washuri. And then one, two, three. Thank you, Optiven. One, two, three. Thank you, Optiven. Hallelujah. Mr. Washuri, we may take our seats. Oh my goodness. I'm not a great man. I am a servant of the people. I am here to serve you. I'm here to serve the people that we create jobs for. And I'm very honored to see beautiful faces, handsome people. I'm so excited to see our partners. And uh, I'm so, so very, very uh, excited to see the administration from the national government, people from the county government, for the support they have given Optiven when we were investing in this wonderful, wonderful county, one of the fastest growing counties. Optiven, we don't work alone. We have partners. And I'm so excited to see every bank here who have funded this project and other projects, because this project is our 48th project. And the uh, Equity Bank has been with us for a long time. Uh, my name is Jeff, uh, Equity Bank. Uh, there's nothing to fear about Equity Bank. I'm not going to go Equity Bank. <laughs> so, so um, uh, today I came with uh, my colleague. Uh, we also cover diaspora uh, for those clients that are in the US, UK, Australia, and my colleague is here in Say hi. How are you? I'm happy to see all of us. I'm Rosalind from Equity Bank. I deal with the customers in the diaspora. So uh, our sisters and brothers who are out there, outside the country, they are our brothers and sisters here. So pass the word to them. We do finance them, clothes, and houses. So uh, let them not say they can't invest back home. We are there for them. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kennedy from Pacific Reality Investment, PRI. We are here to give you affordable homes. For two million, we'll give you a nice bungalow. Commercial needs will do a 3.5. Visit us and we'll make your dream come true. Shalom Homes, Shalom Village. We look forward to building for you. Karibu uh, Nisan. My name is James Kehara. I'm the head of microfinance. It's a microfinance bank. I'm here on behalf of my CEO, Mr. Simon Kapore. Uh, he was supposed to be here because he values this occasion. Uh, for us, uh, we are a, a smaller brother to our brothers here. Uh, we are giving you finances all the way if you want uh, to buy land, construct. If you are an individual, a company, a charmer, and also even if you are also in diaspora, 
we are also doing all that so you're welcome and uh, we are partnered with Oakleven and uh, we are going to work with you we are going to give you uh, the homes you need we are saying if you have a dream and if you have a vision uh, SMEP is a house where you come and fulfill your dreams my name is uh, uh, Patrick Wicheng of uh, Tumuro Homes Kenya Limited we have various options of constructions will be able to advise on labor, on materials, and also quality of workmanship. First and foremost is to thank everyone who came to this forum. For us, we are very, very thankful to see our friends, to see our customers, to see the people who support Optivate. Because without you, we are nothing. Without these faces here, there's no Optivate. And Optivate is you. So who is Optivate? You say, I am Optivate. Who is Optivate? Yes, we are optimal. And very quickly for us, uh, our vision is bigger. It's not only extra value added growth. And that's why we are bringing other partners to engage and help our customers. We say that our big vision is to be pay setters in socio-economic transformation. There are 23 counties affected by hunger. There are 2.7 million people without food. Last week, we launched week, we are calling Feed One More, whereby we urge you to skip lunch and send that money was of that, that lunch to a pay bill number 898630. That money is going to feed somebody else. Optiven, I'm so happy because the director has uh, uh, pledged 2 million towards feed one more. And right now, we are buying foodstuffs. On Monday, we are feeding about 1,000 households in a place called Katakai in Masai Land. The following week, we'll feed another 1,200 households in Saburu. The following week, we go to Laikipia and then a place of in, in central Kenya whereby the post election people are taken. So you can be able to support feed one more because once you skip that lunch, that dinner, somebody is going to eat because all said and done, Kenya is our country. Economic aspects, that's why we are here. We are talking about value-added plots. This value-added is bigger. There are some people who are telling me, George, when I'm comparing the, the prices. I've done a few calls here. The plot here is 600. Please don't compare ripe mangoes with apples. <laughs> this is an apple. Because buying this plot at 795, you are saving money. We have done a beautiful boho. 220 meter deep. Doing that boho is 1.8 million. We have done the pump. A good pump with five years warranty is a million. We are talking about value addition confirmation. That will touch them. This value addition. The road network you see here. We pay the county about 5 million. The jobs we are provided. So it's not only a plot. We are talking about water tower. You have seen this water tower here. And there are two. Phase one and phase two. We are talking over a million shillings. We are talking about water piping along the mains, another over one million. We are talking about gates, caretaker. So don't compare ripe mangoes with an apple. This is a beautiful apple. And I'm happy that uh, you want to partake of this beautiful, fantastic, fabulous apple called Shalom Gardens, phase one and phase two. Phase one is over. Phase two, I'm told we have now about 15 plots. I always share a few things that affected me when I wanted to invest. Why people refuse to invest? Why people don't invest? They are on Facebook, they are on Twitter, yet they have the money, but they don't want to invest. And I will share with you before I sit only five reasons why people don't invest. Only five reasons. Reason number one is what I call procrastination. People hear the information, they love it, they see the contractors, they see the Optiven team, but they say, ah, me, George, here, here, hey, George, you are sure, yeah, here, here, go here too. Ah, see, next year, here, ah, me, na go here, 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 and then you say, ah, when I'm waiting for others to be born, my friend, take action. Marry that one. The time to take action is now. Don't procrastinate. You want to expand your business. You are saying, ah, I'll do it next year. 
uh, I want to borrow a loan from Equity Bank or from SMEP. No, next year. Who, who, who assures you about next year? If you want to kill this disease called procrastination, do it right away. Don't wait. Number two, why people don't invest, why people delay on you know, investment is what I call short range vision or limited vision. Where we two nakata kuona tu. Uko na masho lakini uone. Short vision. Tumekuleta hapa na mabasi. Buzi iko hapa. Bwana chief hako hapa. Contractors wako hapa unasema eh hey, hii mahali ni bali. Eh. Hey, from where? Hey, jameni. Watu wanatoka Australia wanakuja kuinvest hapa. Wewe unatoka tu hapa CBD Nairobi na tumekuleta hapa. It's far from where? That is what the sun is called being myopic. Only limited vision. Yet we know Kenya, the way we are going to Kenya, they are saying by the year 2050, we're going to be about 90 million in this country. Yet our country is small. We are only 143 million acres in Kenya. It's small. They are saying Nairobi, by the year 2050, 16 million people are going to live in this city. In Africa, we expect the population to be about 2.44 billion. They are saying 40% will be living in cities. Sasa, the, the, the house you are going to get from tomorrow homes or Pacific or Dream Homes, those homes, by 2050, unapomua, unaeka flats. Because the city is going to be day I went to Turkey, a town called Istanbul. The city alone, the commercial city, is 184 kilometers in length. 17 kilometers in width. Sasa kanayo bike tu ni kadot. So buying here, you are buying CBD. This is going to be Nairobi CBD. Number three, why people don't invest. This is what I call paralysis by analysis. Paralysis by analysis. Umekua accountant squared. You analyze. Una piga ndalumini. Unaagaria. Until you cannot make any decision. You are just analyzing, overthinking. You are just thinking. Unashukua mobile yako, we piga hii. Hii wana uzaji. Hii na yoki vini seven ninety five. Piga hii. You go home, you analyze. You become paralyzed. And this is why people don't progress. Because unashukua hiyo kakileta. Please. Toka kwa hiyo hema pia. Take action and move. Don't overanalyze. People who make it in life. There are people who take risks. If you don't take risks, even your own family, you will never go forward. You have to take risks. And nowadays, in investment, you don't need to have money. That's why you have equity here. So maybe we work on a pesa. Na msita ganyo, at wakopeshi because of 14%. I always give an example when I was younger. I went to Commonwealth Phase 4, just to check how the houses were. The houses were neglected, and they were selling them at a throwaway price, 1.9 million. Me, I was a young guy working in the Kakuma refugee camp, earning a salary of 32,000 in the desert. I went there, saw the house, rushed to the head chef, took the documents, wakakaria pesiri, wakasheka, wakia kijana, wende mkujwa. 32,000, do you know how much is the installment for this house? They did calculations. No, I told them no. I do other businesses. What do you do? I do sell cosmetics. Do you keep books? No, I have no books, but I have receipts. Read the receipts. And that's why I got my first mortgage in the year 1999. Today, that house, even if you give me 20 million, I can't sell it. It has some value. So don't say it's far. Those days, I went to a friend of mine. He's now an MD in one of the big companies. Can I be a George Wayne? He was Zim. Hapa ni wapi unakuja? Unajua jamu ya mutindo wewe? Haku jua barabari ya wewe kwa mutindo itakuwa super highway. So unajua ni super highway? Wewe katu hapa unasema, hey, but you ungoro. But you ungoro my onions. It's far. So don't be in that category of limited vision, of or paralysis by analysis. Take action. Number four. Why people don't invest? Limited information. People don't want to find out who is this optimist. We are now celebrating 18 years in business. We have done our own mistakes and some of people here, they know the mistakes we have done. We have refunded the money. We don't shy away. When you do a transaction not good, we refund you money. We did it in Eldoret. And I hope Wafula was here. He said, hey, when Maria Kwanza and Miona read the state, we refund the pesa, 100%. We do it because we perceive Optiven as a bigger organization for the years to come. 
And that's why we say that our business is not just to make money. Our business is to create jobs. We have a big vision of employing 15,000 people by the year 2030. Today, we just seen a dot here. We have over 200 staff in other offices. And we are saying by the year 2030, we must hire 15,000. So if you are here, you want to work for Optivate, Mumiona Wajiru. That's our head of Asia. Talk to us. We are looking for those talents with good attitude, passion, and discipline. Why people don't invest? invest? The last one, the last point, is the friends you have. Malafiki, wako. Na wakutu wako, tuko simu, tuko hapo. Muko na hao hapo. The friends you have. They are friends that will never make you move. I call them the draggers. They drag you. Kama hakifungia, namba kwa mbu. The draggers. Whatever you have a vision, they tell you it can't work. Hey, buwana. Investing in 2017, where who? Si tunataka kwanza serikali yendere mbere. They drag you. You share an idea of they just are giving a camper, they say, hey, Kenya, Buana, Kenya, you can't make it. They drag you. Those are the people you need to delete from your phone. What you quit and stress to? Because pressure 1,000. And you're not in the same cycle, isn't it? So, these are people you must move away from. Ukiwaona, unapotea. Unamwapia niko busy, by the way, next week, I'm out of the country. Now we'll go to Hapa, Kenya. Because these are people who drag you. They don't want you to progress. And they are there. They are in the family. They are in your workplace. They are in business. These are the people you must run away from. Other types of friends that really affect you. They are called weights. Muzigo, muzito. Nikama kunia ya cement. Weights. You spend time with them. You get so tired. Oof, jione. Hata mwa maifupa inaguma. Ni marafiki kwa mpaya. Weights. You tell them a secret, they tell everybody. They gossip. They see you progressing, they don't want to progress. They are weak. They are people who I call pessimists. I'm going to open to invest on a value-added plot. Aye, kwenye watu wa nunua apa hil. Wewe muri zaya apa hil kwenye pesa ngapi aneka six hundred thousand, six hundred million. They are called weak. Please, even those ones, pick your phone, delete, delete. What do I want? Phone yet? For email, block them. For WhatsApp, block them. Don't join their WhatsApp group. Block. These are terrible people. Wait. Wana kufuta, isn't it? But I have good news. There are other people I call lifters. <laughs> These are good ones. Lifters, you share them of your vision. They tell you, hey, it is possible. It is doable. You can make it. You can do it. Hey, my, I want to open a business. Yes, Kenya is good. Kenya is growing. The growth rate is 6%. Open that business. I want to go around. Yes. Go to equity. Go to SMEP. They are lifters. They lift you up. They lift you up. These are the people you share your vision. Don't share your vision with weights and drag uh, people drag you. Lifters. So ask your friend, are you a lifter? Are you a lifter? Yeah, lifters. I can see many lifters here. Many lifters. They will tell you, hey, this is the place to be. Buy! $7.95 is nothing because you can see the progress, the value attention. Lift us to encourage you. Look at the fence. The fence is beautiful. The color green for optimism. The color of prosperity. The color green. The color brown. The color opportunity. Partners of optimism. These are lifters. They are good. There are other better people. In my phone, I call them VVIP. Very, very important people. They are called thrusters. Hey, they come and take it. They thrust you up. Boop. Look at what they are doing. I'm doing low. The dimension of the mama. Yeah, who are they doing? Who are they doing? We talk about mama yashamba. And I talk about Wajiko Mwaura. And come and advocate. Thrusters, they will tell you, Hey, you want to do this? Do it. They even give you some capital to do it. That's why for us at Optiven, we support and support. We, are, we want to thrust people up. We want these guys to grow. The partners to keep growing. Thrusters are people when they call you for coffee, you better borrow money from from where? Equitio. Munapiana pesa. Buy those people good coffee, not in a bad location, but in a beautiful location like Kempiski. Wapereke hapo. Wakunye kahawa. Because you are tapping from from them. They are called thrusters. They push you forward. These are the people who create often used for other people. And I think Optiven, we are thrusters. That's why you came, all of you. you. We eat
it together today we network and please don't leave this place without knowing at least 10 people because part of this forum the kujuana network you never know the next year is just next to you the next business person are going to happen never ever agree to give up isn't it never ever give up because kenya today there are many challenges but they say whatever their challenges they are, they are opportunities the reason why you find the western countries coming to africa is because they know there are a lot of opportunities and for you people don't just sit there look for those opportunities get those good friends capture those opportunities let's grow our nation and once we do that we're gonna be very very excited thank you, Sama. Thank you for partnership This is significant that we are now opening this project for you people to start developing. Why? We have the water. We have the power. We have the security. Come, partner with our partners and start construction. Call us to, to do the groundbreaking. So we are declaring Shalom Gardens Phase 2 and Phase 1 officially opened. Let's give a round of applause. May God make Kenya green. Amen. And tree planting is a sign of prosperity. May our country prosper. Amen. Wow. Thank you. Thank the you. next one to plant the tree will be our project director, Mr. Chancellor. <coughs> this is my 500th tree. Wow. Yes. I'm planting here. <laughs> we have planted all the others. You have seen, uh, we have done a lot of uh, other things to make sure that. Uh, when you come here, you have something to touch. Investors must touch yes. their, their investment. Yes. You don't stay in Nairobi when you are plotted here. You come once and you touch. Wow. That is we are, why I'm here as uh, heading the project department to make sure that you, all of you investors have something to touch. And uh, you can see everywhere. You go around every here, touching, 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 and you'll be very happy in future. Excellent. This is a pine tree, one of the best, the most beautiful trees we have in Kenya. You will believe it when you come after one year. One, two, three, we go. Wow. Thank you for planting it for us. At Shalom, now we have so many trees. Wow. Place the water. We can now do the entire. This is Jali Wataoga Mkondo. One of the value additions. One of the value additions that we, we, we promised you to do at Shalom Gardens is water. So they are going to head to where the water is and they will wash their hands there as they show us the confirmation that indeed we are like a magic in the Now after here, Mr. George and Mr. Charles. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Investors, you can come and test whether they want our money. Let's have volunteers. Yeah. Roger, the next time I'm going to do your magic for power. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is good? You can taste, you can come and... Optiven Limited, the pay satus in real estate.